Good day, are you planning to take the Master Plumber Licensure exam? Welcome to another audio review. For today's topic, we will be discussing the Plumbing Code of the Philippines. The History, Code of Ethics, as well as the sections under Chapter 1 entitled Administration. Here is the history of plumbing practice in bulleted form. Are you ready? Let us begin. 17th Century Birth of the Plumbing Profession in the Philippines 17th Century Intramuros, or the Walled City Established by the Spaniards as model community Intramuros, or the Walled City European Standards the Friar Engineers incorporated European standards in their plumbing installations for their structures. European Standards The 18th and 19th century Filipino plumbers were assigned the task of maintaining, repairing, and or remodeling the plumbing systems in all towns also known as pueblos including churches, convents and government buildings. The 18th and 19th century Illustrados these were the recognized plumbers. It was an elite group to act as consultants of plumber journeymen on matters to plumbing installations in villas and mansions. Illustrados The 20th century It was in this time when the plumbing took a great leap with the arrival of the American soldiers, engineers, thalmacite teachers, doctors and evangelists. The 20th century Governor General Harrison he issued a letter of instruction on proper waste disposal in all municipalities when health and hygiene became a priority due to the epidemics such as cholera, leprosy, and schistosomiasis. Governor General Harrison 1902 The plumbing trade was duly recognized by the government. The city of Manila was the model community. 1902 Master Plumber John F. Haas he was the first chief of division of plumbing construction and inspection. Master Plumber John F. Haas Plumbing Code of the United States Through the initiative of the Filipino Master Plumbers, a plumbing code based on the Plumbing Code of the United States was incorporated into the Building Code for the City of Manila. Plumbing Code of the United States 1935, the National Master Plumbers Association of the Philippines or NAMPAP was organized and registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission. 1935 City Ordinance 2411 Also known as the Plumbing Code for the City of Manila. City Ordinance 2411 Plumbing Code of Manila the national government, through the Bureau of Public Works, and other cities and municipalities adopted the Plumbing Code of Manila. Plumbing Code of Manila NAMPAP Spearheaded the enactment of a law regulating the practice of master plumbing in the Philippines. NAMPAP 1954 the year the Third Congress of the Republic of the Philippines in its second session approved after the Third Reading House Bill No. 962. 1954 House Bill No. 962 Became Republic Act No. 1378 House Bill No. 962 June 18, 1955 RA 1378 also know the National Plumbing Code of the Philippines was signed by President Ramon Magsaysay June 18, 1955 January 28, 1959 the National Plumbing Code of the Philippines, prepared by the NAMPAP, was promulgated and approved by Malacanang. January 28, 1959 NAMPAP Assisted in the passage of the law creating the National Waterworks and Sewerage Authority, or NAWASA. NAMPAP 1966-1969 the Board of Examiners for Master Plumbers and the NAMPAP prepared a curriculum for plumbing engineering that was approved by the Department of Education and was first introduced at the FIDI University. 1966-1969 November 28, 1967 The First Amendment to the National Plumbing Code was approved. November 28, 1967 1972 
before martial law, Republic Act No. 6541 or the Building Code of the Philippines was passed with the National Plumbing Code of 1959 as referral code in full text. 1972 Hi Matt M. Cabasa. NAMPAP President who spearheaded the updating of the revised National Plumbing Code. Hi Matt M. Cabasa. October 1999. NAMPAP submitted the draft code to the Board of Master Plumbers chaired by engineer Fortunato H. Amosco. October 1999. Hermogenes Pabri. PRC chairman who adopted the revised plumbing code of 1999. Hermogenes Pabri. Joseph Edricito Estrada. Approved the Revised National Plumbing Code of the Philippines, or RA 1378. Joseph Edricito Estrada. December 21, 1999. The day the Revised National Plumbing Code was approved. December 21, 1999. Master Plumber Code of Ethics. A registered master plumber shall maintain a professional bearing consistent with an honorable and dignified pursuit of his, her profession, adhering to a set of conduct becoming of his, her calling, and shall not. Number 1. Act in an unprofessional manner and demand any remuneration other than his, her original charges except for additional services not covered in the basic contract. Number 2. Supplant another registered master plumber after definite steps have already been taken toward his, her being commissioned to perform the contract. Number 3. Underbid another registered master plumber by reducing his, her professional fees after being informed of the fees charged by the other registered master plumber. Number 4. Take the advantage of a salaried government position to compete unfairly with a practicing registered master plumber. Number 5. Allow the use of his, her license as a registered master plumber for a fee to an unlicensed master plumber in plumbing works without his, her personal supervision. Number 6. Injure falsely or maliciously, directly or indirectly, the reputation of another registered master plumber by reviewing his, her work for the same client unless the professional services of the former have been officially terminated and all professional fees have been dully paid by the client. Number 7. Advertise in self-laudatory language, act in any manner and engage in any practice which tends to bring dishonor to the dignity of the registered master plumber, the National Master Plumbers Association of the Philippines, and the plumbing profession. Next topic is the RA 1378 Chapter 1. Administration. The following are the sections under this chapter. Section 100. Entitled Permit Required To ensure compliance of the provisions of this code, the professional services of a registered and licensed master plumber shall be enlisted in accordance with Republic Act No. 1378, the Plumbing Law. It shall be unlawful for any person, firm or corporation, whether acting as principal, servant, agent or employee, to do or cause to be done any plumbing or drainage work for which a permit is required without securing prior permit from the office of the building official having jurisdiction under the Department of Public Works and Highways, Department of Interior and Local Government or City Mayors. Section 100. Permit Required. Section 101. To whom permits may be issued. No permit shall be issued to any person, firm or corporation to do or cause to be done any installation of plumbing work regulated by this code, except to a registered and licensed master plumber, holding a valid, unexpired, and unrevoked certificate of registration as required by Republic Act No. 1378, as amended. Section 101. To whom permits may be issued. Section 102. Application for Permit. In application, a registered and licensed master plumber shall file an application at the office of the building official in behalf of the building owner for whom such work shall be done and shall fill out the forms provided for that purpose. Every application shall Number 1. Identify and describe the plumbing work to be covered by the permit for which an application is made. Number 2. 
Describe the land upon which the proposed plumbing work is to be done, legal description, street address or similar description that will readily identify and locate the proposed building or work. Number 3. Indicate the use or occupancy for which the proposed plumbing work is intended. Number 4. Be accompanied by plans, drawings, diagrams, computations, technical dot specifications, and other data as required in subsection 102.2. Number 5. Give such other data and information as required by the administrative authority. Number 6. Be signed by owner or permittee who is required to submit evidence to indicate such authority. Number 7. Be signed and sealed by the registered and licensed master plumber. For the plans and specifications. All plumbing plans, drawings, diagrams, design analyses computations as required, technical specifications, bills of materials and other required documents for all types of occupancy shall be prepared, signed and sealed by a registered and licensed master plumber, without limitations, pursuant to Republic Act 1378, as amended, and shall be submitted in six sets of the aforementioned requirements with each application for a permit. For the information on plans and specifications, it shall be drawn to scale on tracing paper or cloth and shall be of sufficient clarity to indicate the location, nature and extent of the work proposed showing in detail, conformance with the provisions of this code, relevant laws, ordinances, rules and regulations. The technical specifications submitted shall comply with the provisions of existing standards of the National Building Code and this code. Section 103. Permit Issuance. The application, plans, technical specifications, and other required documents filed by an applicant for a permit shall be reviewed by the administrative authority. Other concerned departments which verify compliance with other applicable laws may review such plans. If the administrative authority finds that the work described in an application for permit and the plans, specifications, and other documents filed therewith conform to the requirements of the plumbing code and other pertinent laws and ordinances, and upon payment of the fees specified in Section 105, a permit shall then be issued to the applicant. When the administrative authority issues the permit he shall endorse in writing or stamp the plans and specifications as approved. Such approved plans and specifications shall not be changed, modified or altered without authorization from the administrative authority and all works shall be done in accordance with approved plans and specifications. The administrative authority may issue a partial permit for the construction of a part of a large and or complicated plumbing system before the entire plans and specifications for the whole system have been submitted or approved, provided adequate information and detailed statements have been filed, complying with all pertinent requirements of this code. The holder of such partial permit may proceed at his own risk without assurance that the final permit for the entire building, structure or plumbing system will be granted. For the retention of plans. One set of approved plans, specifications, computations and related data shall be retained by the administrative authority. Two sets of approved plans, specifications and data shall be returned to the applicant and owner, one set of which shall be kept at the job site at all times while the work is in progress. For the validity of permit. The issuance of a permit or approval of plans and specifications shall not be construed as a permit to violate any provision of this plumbing code or of any other applicable ordinances. The issuance of a permit based on submitted plans. Specifications or other documents shall not prevent the administrative authority from thereafter requiring the correction of errors on said plans, specifications, and other documents and from stopping an ongoing plumbing installations violative of this code or of other pertinent ordinances of this jurisdiction. For the expiration. A plumbing permit issued under the provisions of this code shall expire and become null and void if the plumbing work authorized therein is not commenced within one year from the date of such permit or if the plumbing work so authorized is suspended or abandoned at any time after having been commenced for a period of 120 days. In case of renewal of a plumbing permit, a fee equivalent to one-half the amount of the original fee shall be paid. For the suspension or revocation. The administrative authority may, in writing, 
suspend or revoke a permit issued under the provisions of this code whenever issued in error or on the basis of incorrect information supplied or in violation of pertinent ordinances, rules, and regulations. Section 104. Application for Existing Plumbing System. The additions, alterations or repairs may be made to any existing plumbing system provided the addition, alteration or repair works conform to requirements for a new plumbing system. Additions, alterations or repairs shall not render an existing system unsafe, unsanitary or overloaded. Changes in Building Occupancy Plumbing systems which are a part of any building or structure undergoing a change in use or occupancy, as defined in the National Building Code, shall comply with all requirements of this code applicable to the changed use or occupancy. Maintenance All plumbing systems, materials and appurtenances, both existing and new, and all parts thereof shall be maintained in proper operating condition. All devices or safeguards required by this code shall be maintained in conformance with the existing code addition at the time the plumbing system was installed. The owner or his designated agent shall be responsible for the maintenance of plumbing systems. To determine compliance with this subsection, the administrative authority may cause the reinspection of any plumbing system. Moved buildings. Plumbing systems, which are part of buildings or structures in one place and moved into another jurisdiction, shall comply with the provisions of this code for new installation. Section 105. Inspections. All plumbing systems for which permits are required by this code shall be inspected by the administrative authority. No portion of any plumbing system shall be concealed until inspected and approved. Section 105. Inspections. Section 106. Connection Approval. For permanent connections, no person shall install connections to any water supply line, sewer or storm drain systems as required by this code and for which other applications and permits are also required from other agencies before approval by the administrative authority. For temporary connections, the administrative authority will endorse to other authorities or government agencies the issuance of temporary connections of the plumbing equipment to the water supply main, sewer main, power line and gas main for the purpose of testing the equipment. Connection 106. Connection Approval. Section 107. Special Provisions. All licensed master plumbers registered in accordance with the provisions of Republic Act No. 1378 shall secure for themselves a seal of the standard size and type as required. The same shall be used on all plumbing applications for permit and all plumbing plans prepared by registered and licensed master plumbers as well as on all documents required in the practice of their profession. Section 107. Special Provisions. Section 108. Plumbing Fixtures Required. Each building shall be provided with sanitary facilities in accordance with best practice for mobility of disabled persons as provided in the National Building Code of the Philippines or by other government departments having jurisdiction. Section 108. Plumbing Fixtures Required. Chapter 2. Definition of Terms. Please see link on the description box for the audio review on definition of terms. For any concerns, you can follow us at Facebook or email us at audioreview.yt at gmail.com. Before we end, please don't forget to hit like, click subscribe and ring that notification bell to be updated. Thank you and God bless.